Libra, this is you versus them for the 9th through the 16th. <clears throat> this reading is for Libra, so Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Let's see your feelings about this person. Libra's feelings towards this person. Hmm, Four of Cups. They come across as disinterested. Cancer energy here. There's something about them that makes makes you feel like they're selfish and um, they want you guys to show them like all of this attention, but you know, they're coming across to you like they could give a shit, basically. Okay, very kind of lackluster. Um, it's what I'm feeling coming from from them. How you feel about them. Let's see how they feel about you. How do they feel about my Libras? How are they feeling about my Libras? Hmm. Three of Pentacles. Hmm. You know, I don't really like this right here, this Three of Pentacles energy, because um, it, the fact that you feel like they're not, they're not, they're being lazy as far as a lover is concerned. With them feeling about you coming as a Three of Pentacles, it's like, they're doing that because they can, because they feel like you guys are always trying to smooth things over with them, um, always willing to like go that extra mile just to make sure things are okay. They like the attention that you give them, and every time, like the more you give them attention, the more they act like um, they're pulling back almost. Okay, Capricorn energy. It's like that. Um, Capricorn and Cancer are you know opposite energies okay they're opposite signs so it's always like the more you show them that you care about them the more they withdraw is what I'm getting from this okay let's see what's currently going on for Libras what's currently going on for Libras Knight of Wands you're ready to leave you're tired of it you're tired of this shit <laughs> You're tired of this shit. You're ready to leave. You're ready to be done with it. You're tired of feeling this way. You're tired of feeling this way. Gemini, Sagittarius energy there, which are also opposite signs. So weird. Okay. Um, the thing is, I think you have a hard time really deciding to leave this person. So it's like, you know, you're kind of back and forth. And almost giving mixed signals, but this person actually, I don't know why, they like this. Whenever they feel you pulling away, I think they show a little more interest. But then when, you know, you see this interest as okay, they're coming, they're coming out of their shell and they're showing me more. Then you start showing them more and then they start pulling back again. It's like always this push-pull sort of energy between the two of you okay what's currently going on with them what's currently going on with them three of cups hmm. they're spending time with other people now you have two threes here so this definitely could be them spending time with somebody else in an intimate setting dating dating somebody at work even okay but if nothing else they're going out having a good time um, being joyous <laughs> being joyful with other people but they're coming across like they could give a shit when they're around you and I feel like that's freaking pissing you off um, again cancer is very strong here the Nine of Cups is here. This person, I think, is is 
basically functioning like they're single. So if you guys are together, they're definitely coming across very selfish, like they're only thinking about themselves, okay? So, yeah. <clears throat> Let's see. What's affecting Libras currently? What's influencing this situation? What's influencing this situation? The Nine of Cups. Now, you saw they had the Nine of Cups on the bottom of the deck, which is the overall energy for them. But you're wanting to do what makes you happy. You feel like they're doing their own thing? I need to do my own freaking thing. I need to do what makes me happy. Maybe I'll go out. Maybe I'll start dating. Seeing other people. Piscean energy. Doing what's best for you. Thinking about you for once, I feel. <clears throat> what's currently influencing their situation? Eight of Wands. Hmm. I feel like this person is trying to move on, trying to move forward. Um, yeah. I'm hearing keep their options open too. So even if this person is has not gotten into a um, uh, like a full fledged relationship, I do feel like there's some communication going on with other people. Um, they may even be like traveling with these people, going out of town. Again, Sagittarius energy here. Some of your people have. Um, marriage situations that they're dealing with. They're trying to keep some things from actually like crossing over here. Maybe not not wanting like if they do have another like situation relationship or whatever they're wanting to keep like both lives separate what they had going on with you or have going on with you and whatever else they have going on they want to make sure those things never like get mixed up <clears throat> Coming in for my Libras. Six of Swords. Moving forward, moving on, deciding that, yeah, you know, this situation was one that you wanted to be in. But, you know, there are things that have happened and you can't take it back. You can't change it. The best thing for you to do is to move forward, move on, let it go. Six of Swords comes with hurt. But it's like, you know, accepting that, you know, things are the way that they are and pushing on is what that is with the Six of Swords, Aquarius energy there. It is what it is, that mentality. Then we have the Ace of Swords under the bottom of their deck. Hmm. I do feel like this person probably cheated on you guys, is cheating on you guys even. Um, if that's the case, you guys already know it. You already know it, okay? This is nothing new. Don't make them be somebody that's cheating on you if you don't already know this shit, okay? This is a situation that you guys already know. Even if you haven't seen it with your own eyes, there's something within you that's telling you, I know he's doing this, or I know she's doing this. I know there's someone else. I think they're lying to me. You know this already. Okay. Ace of Swords with the Six of Swords there. Seven of Swords energy. Again, Aquarius. Okay. What's coming in for them? Death. It's inevitable. Something's got to change. The situation's not working. Mm -hmm. There's an ending coming here. Scorpio energy. And I feel like you guys are initiating that. You are the deciding factor here. 
whether or not you continue to allow whatever um, foolishness was going on here or you say no more you take your hurt your pain you move forward with it okay well not move forward with the pain but you you recognize it for what it is and um, you deal with it that way and move on What's the outcome here for my Libras? Queen of Wands. Moving on. Looking pretty, girls, guys. <laughs> Doing your thing thing. All right? Gang, gang. Yep. That's what you're doing. Hmm. Not letting it affect you. I like it. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy there. What is this? The Empress here. Hmm. This is like a wife, a mother, a uh, mother of their child, um, father of their child. I feel strongly this is a you know male energy down here, but this is uh, a woman. Uh, could be you guys coming in for them or the outcome for them uh, because this is Taurus Libra uh, Aries type energy and um, but I'm, I'm seeing more of this is a mother here somebody that has something that they're interested in something that they feel like um, is is like binding them. I feel a strong like uh, legalities here with this person. I do feel too that when you guys walk away it's going to break them down. It's going to um, make them you know really take a hard look at themselves Yes, it is. And if they came across real kind of bigoty, masculine, um, overly uh, masculine, and not enough feminine energy, all oh, that feminine energy is coming through when they realize that you guys are checking up the deuces. Deuces. <laughs> so that's what I have for you guys, and I'll be speaking with you soon. Bye.